How you guys doing, Eric here? Today is Friday, August 4th, 2017. Kind of a warm, humid morning up here in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. And yeah, so yesterday I made a little video about prison, life in prison. I talked about low vibrational energy, right? Or negative energy, which I forgot to mention, you know, what it is, you know, what low vibration, negative energy it really is, is fear. So that's what I want to talk about today. Fear and how they use it to keep us under control in the society. It all starts off in, in childhood, really. All of us, every one of us are put into situations, you know, in our childhood that are, that are intimidating, man, you know. They say that the biggest fear that humans have is fear of the unknown, you know. And, and that's what they do when they send us to school, you know. It's, it's intimidating, man, when you first go to school. And you and you put into a classroom with all these kids you don't know, and it starts from there, you know, and and it never ends. You know, you go through grade every year. You got to go into a new class and meet a bunch of new kids. Intimidating, and then you know you got to go. You, you graduate from from grade school. You go to middle school, and then you're put into more frightening situations of the unknown. And then from there to high school, and again, it's scary when you go into a new school for some fucking reason. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. Especially where I grew up in California. And being a white guy, a white kid growing up in California, man, there's a lot of intimidation, man. It's it's scary, man, at times. But you get you go you get through it, man. You learn. You know, you get over your fear. You know, you get like you get in some fights and stuff as a kid. Everybody most boys do. And you know, before you get into a fight, you I mean, you're scared, your heart's racing, you know, you, you start to sweat, your palms get all clammy, you know, and heart rate goes up. Uh, as soon as you start fighting, man, that, that uh, adrenaline kicks in and, and the fear goes right out the window. You don't, you know, he, I, I remember that from any fight I ever been in. And once I started fighting, I was no longer afraid. Yeah, speaking about, you know, prison and fear, you know, like... That's a big part of it, man. Why, why there's so much shit and violence and negative energy coming out of prison. You know, anybody that goes into a prison, you know, and they tell you that they're not afraid are fucking lying, man. That Maybe there's one or two people in the whole prison that's not afraid. The baddest motherfuckers in there. You know, there's a few that run the place. But for the most part... Everybody's just dwelling in fear 24 hours a day in that place, you know. So, yeah, you know, like fear, you know, it's there's two kinds of basic emotion, human emotion. There's love, which is high vibrational, and, and there's fear, which is low vibration. And, you know, all the other emotions based on those two, like fear-based emotion would be anger, hatred, jealousy... All those kind of lust, all those kind of emotions that that are negative and they're, they're bad for you, man. They're, they're really, if you dwell in that negative area all, all the time, you're going to be more unhealthy. You're going to be, you know, you're going to have more problems in life than, than people that are loving and live in a, a higher dimensional you know, the higher dimensional emotions of love and joy and happiness and, you know, caring and you're going to have better health and you're going to have a better life all in general. And, but, you know, they, they strive hard in this society to keep us in fear, hate, you know, racial hatred. Every, every, all the other kinds of hatred that we have in this world. I think the biggest fear we have, though, it's true, the fear of the unknown. Like, about 10 months ago, when I went through my oral surgery, now that was scary, man, you know? That was really, truly frightening, because I didn't know what to expect, you know? I did, I did quite a bit of research on it, 
and if other people had said but still you know you never you don't know what to expect till you go through it and, and it was terrible man it's still it's still affecting me you know it's it's gonna affect me for the rest of my life but that night you know when i was my, my uh, appointment for that oral surgery was nine in the morning so that that whole night before man i barely slept and i kept having nightmares about what was going to happen you know and it was terrible i couldn't i kept waking up you know and it was it was one of the fucking worst nightmares you know besides that one i had in my sister's cabin yeah my sister used to have this cabin up in running springs which is in the mountains of san bernardino and this was back 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 in the late 80s when i was like 20 years old or so i was staying up there for the weekend and i had this fucking nightmare man it was man it was so realistic man it was like this evil old man like like had me cornered and he was fucking choking me and i couldn't fucking move i was paralyzed totally fucking paralyzed with fear man it was and it seemed like it went on for quite a while man and i couldn't breathe and i couldn't move and then you know suddenly i was like i was able to break free of him man somehow and i woke up and screaming man it was like it seemed so real man like i was actually fighting with a demon you know but it just goes to show you how how fear can paralyze you the cops nowadays man very intimidating fucking skin-headed fucking nazi looking motherfuckers most of them fucking steroid fiends all pumped up with fucking tattoos all over them they look like a bunch of fucking jack booted fucking nazis man and very intimidating and frightening to most people and that's that's done on purpose they hire those kind of people on purpose to be cops to keep us in fear because fear is a very paralyzing emotion and we don't think right when we're scared and we make mistakes and it's easier for them to you know prosecute us for shit make us admit to things get us to incriminate ourselves when we're paralyzed in fear so man it's a very very scary intimidating fucking society we live in nowadays you know it's like supposedly we're so free and I mean, just look at the media man they're always talking about scary shit right like those like those countries that want to destroy america and you know the the gangs you know and you know we're gonna get rid of ms-13 we're gonna make america safe again we're gonna build a wall you know all this shit that, that they that, that they use to get money out of us based on our fear you know fear of the fucking boogeyman the boogeyman being isis you know and, and terrorism and fucking illegal immigrants and fucking muslims but you know what none of that shit really scares me man the only thing that really fucking gets me nervous i'm not really gonna say scared because after i went through my fucking oral surgery you know nothing scares me as much anymore <laughs> but yeah it's the scary thing are these fucking jack booted fucking Nazi skinhead fucking Gestapo in America. To me, that's the only real threat to my life, to my well-being. It's not fucking some Muslim. It's not Iran. It's not North Korea. The only fucking threat to me are these fucking turds driving up and down this highway in a costume fucking asking me to identify myself. Looking for any reason to pull me over, man. And see if I got THC in my system. So they can fucking put me in a cage. You know? That's scary to me. If I, at my age. You know, I used to be afraid of a lot of more things, man. But now, not really so much. The thing that scares me is fucking losing my freedom. You know, because I ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna allow my freedom to ever be taken away from me. But that's all they want to do, man. And that, to me, scares the shit out of me. Not really, though, but, you know, it, it makes me think. Keeps, it makes me cautious about what I do because I know that that's all that this fucking system here in the... This fucking court system 
scares the shit out of me, man. The fucking judges, the lawyers, the fucking jails, all that shit, man. So yeah, I thought it would be a good follow-up to my prison video since I really didn't talk about the fear involved in it. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. But another thing I find kind of interesting, I, I, I did some research on YouTube, you know, about fear. And all I really found was some, like, documentaries from, like, the Science Channel, shit like that. It's all very, very physical reality-based. That's all they want us to believe in, is whatever we experience in life is just in our brains, you know. They don't want us to believe in anything ethereal, spiritual, beyond, you know, beyond physical reality, which I believe, man, to myself. But the, the fucking mainstream science, all they want you to believe in is that Whatever you experience in your life is just inside of your brain and there's nothing else. So that's what I got out of that research I did. It was like kind of worthless because I could see right through it that it was your typical mainstream science trying to keep us trapped into the physical reality and never realize that we are much more than just this fucking shell that we live in on Earth, you know. I point out that I really believe that our our, our brain is just a fucking is just like a computer that controls our body and our real true self is our is our consciousness which is totally separate but the powers that be that control academics and science and everything we're taught in school they want us to believe that it's really just in our minds there is no consciousness outside of your own brain and when you die you're just dead or except for religion they want you to believe that you got to do what they say or you're going to go to hell and that's kind of a a fear-based fucking construct there too mushrooms lots of mushrooms growing around here this time of year little ones big ones and i'm looking for a special kind of mushroom that's it's red with white spots on it. Supposedly, if you eat one of those, you will see God. It's done on purpose. They hire those kind of people on purpose to be cops. To keep us in fear. Because fear is a very paralyzing emotion. We don't think right when we're scared. We make mistakes.